Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to the next episode of the Bloodborne Ultimate Walkthrough Guide. Today we're going to be returning to Yosefka's Clinic, a little area unknown to most players, but it's imperative that we go there so we can get the summons to Kanehurst. So let's go ahead and visit this frontier headstone. We're going to go back to the Forbidden Woods, everybody's favorite place. All right, so from here, we're just going to start sprinting most of the way through the level. Um, we're headed towards the Poison Swamp, essentially. You can go ahead and kill these guys if you like. But you don't really need to fight anything. You could step on that trap if you want. I don't advise it. So we're going to stick to the left, basically. Once we get through these guys at the fire here, there's going to be some dogs. So be careful. Like I said, you don't need to fight anything, so hug the left side. Vision might be slightly obscure, but that's alright. Again, stay to the left. You should recognize this area we've been here before, so... These cages are open, so you might want to go ahead and deal with these dogs. And again... We've talked about this many, many, many times, but always continue to swing your weapon. Even if you're not going to make a successful hit, you know you're going to recover some of that hit point damage through the uh, regain method. So it's totally worth it. All right, so once you get into the water here, you're going to head back beyond this gravestone. And you're going to see this lantern on the wall. That's your signal to turn in here. As long as you've got full health, that slow poison is not a problem for you. Just go ahead and climb up the ladder. But I would say if you do get poisoned and you are halfway health before you start climbing the ladder, make sure to heal up or grab an antidote. Because this ladder trip is a long way up and it could kill you. If you don't know how to fast climb, just make sure to hold circle. heal up here make sure to grab this cold blood and before you do anything else open up this door here this actually takes us back to the very beginning of the game you'll see this passageway here that's where we basically came out into the world and you should recognize this all right so I'm just showing you that so you can get your bearings now we're gonna head back to where we came from and there is an opening over here. This gate will already be open. So you don't have to do anything to access this. Now we're only going to really have a little bit of fighting here. You see that item off in the distance. We're going to have an enemy to the left of it. And uh, they're not too tough. But they deal a lot of damage. And they're pretty resilient. So you want to charge up and attack. And then get right next to them and do it again. Yeah, so easy, easy strategy. Like I said, not too tough, but they are strong. So take advantage of their weak tactics. Madman's knowledge. We're going to climb up here. There's going to be some carrion crows on the rooftops. You don't have to fight them. You could run off to the left if you want, but I would suggest fighting them. It's pretty lucrative. You might get a pebble as well. What I like to do is do the L2 attacks. If one flies above you, you're kind of screwed with that, but whatever. Alright. There's no other loot up here, so you can go ahead and go through this opening. Now, you don't need to worry about doing any combat in here. But I'm still going to suggest you kill the creatures that you come across. So, like, this will not hurt you, but go ahead and attack it. And that is why I suggest it. You're going to get a Carol rune that's stronger than the original beast that you already have. I believe that's going to give you plus 50. Then we open up this chest here, and we're going to get another rune. And this is for communion. 
So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So communion rank two, we get max blood vials up by three instead of one. So uh, obviously plus one is not really a great thing, but plus three can make a big difference, especially if you're struggling against a boss. Um, and then we could go down here and see the other one that we picked up, Beast. So this is the original one that we had, temporarily boost transform plus 20, and now we have plus 50. So massive improvements on both of those original runes. I'm not going to use either one of them anytime soon, so nothing else in this room at the moment. When we come out of here, we're going to hang a left. And you can just run in, open the door. I don't want you to go up the stairs. I just want you to walk in this opening. How did you worm your way in here? Very unfortunate. I had such high hopes for you. Well, I won't make any excuses. Would you mind leaving us alone? Things need not change. You'll do the rescuing, and I'll do the saving. But if you refuse to leave... Oh well. I've always wanted to try my hand on a hunter. <laughs> okay, definitely doesn't sound like the Yosefka that we once knew, correct? Um, we know that that's her because this is her area, but she's giving us a warning, and this is something that we need to pay attention to. This is very important to your overall ending scenario. So I'm going to go back into my inventory, and I'm going to look at... I think it's going to be a key item. Actually, it's going to be a consumable. So <clears throat> we see one third of the umbilical cord, a great relic also known as the cord of the eye. And if we look into this, like I said, one third of the umbilical cord. So if we go up there and go against Josefka's will, we will not be able to get the second third of the umbilical cord, which we need for an alternative ending. We need all three of them. So you don't want to screw that up. So listen to me when I'm telling you this. You want, at the very least, the option to have that ending. You'll discover what that ending is as we play through the guide. But I don't want to spoil it for you now. But I want you to have the opportunity to have that available if you do so desire. All right. So like I said, just go in there, get that prompt, and then leave. And then we've got one more little area to explore here. Again, this thing is docile, but we still want to kill it. There's no reason to not kill it. So, if you still have Yosefka's blood vial in your inventory, you won't be able to pick this up. You can only hold one of them. This is another kind of interesting thing. Why would this creature have Yosefka's blood vial? You would think, if you hadn't just spoken with Yosefka, that uh, maybe this was stolen from her, she was killed. Usually that's what happens when you find other people's possessions on a creature like this, but uh, we know that's not the case since we just spoke with her. This is the essential item that we came here for. This is the Kanehurst Summons. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. It's going to be a key item. An old bloodstained summons inviting an honored guest to the forsaken castle Kanehurst. Rather bafflingly, it is addressed to you. Do not hesitate. The stagecoach leaves from Hemwick Crossing. Nice. So this is one of those things that FromSofts like to do. Uh, FromSoft likes to do. They put some really obscure hidden stuff in the games. This one is probably a lot easier than most of their little secrets. Um, not for this game in particular, but just FromSoft in general. So once we're here at the Lantern, we're going to return to the Dream. And I don't think we're going to have enough... Blood Echoes for an upgrade. We're going to be really close either way. Yeah, so we're just a little bit shy. Um, I'm not going to consume any cold blood because I'm going to save those for a rainy day. But of course, you're in control of your own character. You can take the path however you like. So what's important to know is that next episode, we're going to be going to Kanehurst. Uh, now that we have the invitation... And we're going to go to the area, the special area that it designates us to go to so that we can start up the cutscene to enable that. 
So we'll finish off here. Just wanted to get this quick episode out of the way so that you guys understood how to do that. And we'll kind of keep that separate just in case people are searching piecemeal for certain zones. That way they don't have to watch stuff that they didn't intend to watch. All right, thanks again, everybody, and please do me a big favor. If you're watching this and you enjoy the content, jump on over to Twitch. I've got a channel over there where I stream really often. In fact, that's where I spend most of my time, and we hang out. We have a good community. It's a, it's a good time, a lot of fun. It's just Bald and Bearded, the same channel name. So twitch.tv slash Bald and Bearded. Say hello. Let me know where you came from, and I appreciate it. Peace.